welcome back to my channel it's Andrea and today I have my May update for Pan Loves Eyeshadows of course this project was created by Alexi who she was doing it this year but I haven't seen her updated in a while I will still have her channel and playlist linked down below because I know everybody gets super busy and sometimes YouTube things fall by the wayside so she may start updating again at some point but even if she doesn't, there are so many people doing this project. I'm sure this is not the first video of Panos eyeshadows that you've seen. So usually how I structure my videos, I go through any bonus pans I may have. I go through the shades that I was working on for the previous month in order from least used to most used. Then I roll my new shadows if I have any and I at the very end of the video have a little slideshow of some of the looks I've created using these shadows over the past month. So we're just gonna get started with this update because it is a little exciting. I have two new shades we're gonna be rolling in and four bonus pans. So we'll start with the bonus pans. Now three of them come from my Lorac Mega Pro 4, which is my Pan That palette this year. I am doing the Fantastic Ladies Tiny Pans. I had four pans in this the last time I showed you and I've hit three more pans in it. So I have, over the past month, I have hit pan in Dark Chocolate, Foam, and Unicorn. And hopefully you can see all of the nice shiny pans I have in this. I now have seven pans in this palette, which I'm very happy with. And that is that. And then the next or the last bonus pan I have actually comes from a shadow that was in this project for a while. I hit my 30 uses and I rolled it out, but it is the shade Agave from my Frida Kahlo and Ulta Beauty palette. It's a pretty tiny pan because I was mainly using it as eyeliner, but I did hit pan. I didn't keep track. I think I used it like between five and seven more times before I hit pan. So. I finally have pan in this one. So those are all my bonus pans and now we'll go into the five shadows that I was working on last month that were actually in this project. And I might I might try to do this for every following update, but I did use all five shadows in my look today. So the first shadow that I've only used six times in the past month comes from my Juvia's Place Zulu palette. And these shades are not named, so it's just this green right in the middle. I have that on my, like, the inner half of my lid. I'll give you a swatch. It's a very vibrant lime green. Since I've only used it six times, you can't really... You can tell that I've used it, like, the surface is as I like to say, disturbed, but there's no like dip or anything. The green from Juvia's Place, I rolled in last month, so I've only got six total uses on it. These next two shadows have been in for two months and they both have, and they both have eight uses on them. So this is Blue Magic from Colored Rain. And I have this in my outer corner today. I think it's got a pretty decent dip going. I'm not sure. I might be able to hit pan before 30, but I'm not sure. This is a pretty creamy formula. So I'll give a swatch of that, but I used, as I said, I used it eight times this month. So I've used it a total of 13 times in the project. And then same thing with this next shadow. This is my Sydney Grace Cream Multi-Chrome Shadow in Alexandrite. I used this eight times this month and a total of 13 times in the project. And this is what I'm wearing as my eyeliner today. It might be kind of hard to see, but this is a beautiful shade on its own in a look, but I do, I really enjoy using multi-chromes as liners as well. That's where most of my uses for the shadow have come from. Then next, and my first shadow that's rolling out is 
the shade Apricot from Sydney Grace. I was at 23 uses last update. I used it 13 more times this update. So I've used it a total of 36 times and we're still a long way off from pan. So I have over 30 uses on it. I'm gonna roll this one out. I actually, it's gonna be hard to see, but I actually have it in, like on my lower lash line today. That's a lot of the time, that's how I would wear this shadow just because with all the shadows I'm working on and 365 days of eyeshadow challenge, it was just the easiest way for me to make sure I was getting use on it, was using it as a liner, but it is a beautiful shadow. Like peachy, orangey gold. I Sometimes like I feel like there's a hint of green. And then the last shadow that I was working on comes from my Revolution Soap X palette in the shade Cloudberry. You gotta bear with me because this palette is broken. I used this one a total of 20 times but I hit pan after 19 times. So this, you can see I have pan in this shade Pug. This is, I feel like it's one of those, what is, I think Colourpop calls them like the sequin formula or maybe that was um, Tati, I don't know. It, it applies matte. It's almost like a satin, I don't know, but it's, the formula was a little more powdery and crumbly than this shade in Pug, which I hit pan on last year. So I, di I didn't think I was going to have any problem hitting pan in it. It's a little, yeah, I think that's more of a satin really than a matte. It's a little pale, but it's what I have in my crease. It's kind of hard to see, but so that is... So those are the five shadows that I was working on for the last month. I'm very excited to be rolling two out. I'm very happy to roll something out that has pan in it because it's always more fun to roll something out when you have pan versus a usage goal. But this is this is going to take forever, even using like a smaller brush just to do lower lash line work or whatever. So this is just going to, it's always... A possibility it can get rolled into the project again at another point but it's gonna be retired for a little while for now so with that being said before I choose my new eyeshadows I was curious so I have a total of 48 pans in my collection out of a total of how do I say this? Okay. So I have 1,258 eyeshadows. 1,201 of those shadows have, are in a pan. Out of those 1,201 shadows, I have hit pan over the past two years collectively on 48 shadows. This year I've hit 16 pans so far so I'm doing I'm doing good I'm I don't like want to set an actual goal for a pans hit because then I'll like never hit another pan again but I'm I'm happy with that last month my pan percentage was 3.63 percent and this month with the five pans but I also got in some new shadows my pan percentage still went up to four percent even so I'm I'm really thinking that I will be able to hit 5% by the end of the year. That is my ultimate goal. Like, that would just be, that would make me happy. So, now that it's time to choose new shades, I have 1,210 shadows that are eligible to be rolled into this project. Although, I have not taken out shades out of that list that are in other projects. And if I roll those shadows, I will re-roll just because I am already working on them but and then I have my rule where if I roll something that is extremely similar to something I'm already working on I will re-roll that as well but I've got my random number generator up from 1 to 1210 and I've got a pen 
and paper so that I can write down my numbers and see what we're gonna get. So the first number is number 785. And the second number is 298. So let's go see what they are really quick. See if we need to re-roll 795. Okay. Oh, 785, not 95. Silly. Ooh, okay. I think I know which I think I know what shade that is. I'm excited about that one. And then 298. Okay, this one I'm not as excited about, but. Both of these shadows are coming from palettes, so I'm gonna go grab those palettes, bring them over to show you, and swatch them out, and then that'll be it with the update. Okay, so the first number I rolled was 785, which is a shadow from my No Man Cosmetics Cartagena Magica palette. It, oh, okay. That's not the shadow I thought it was, but it's okay. It's still a pretty shadow. I got the shade Perseguir Sueños. It's this yellow metallic right here. So I'll give that a swatch. I think I may have used this once since getting this palette last summer. So it's very pretty. And then the next shadow, which was 298, comes from my Lorac Shine Bright palette, which we've already seen in the project this year. I had earlier in the year the shade Splendor, which is hard to see, but I did hit pan in it. We rolled a super fun shade. We rolled the shade Ecru, just the lid setting shade. You can't even tell. I used this shadow so much in 2019 when I was working on haze in this palette and I don't know it like barely even looks used so this might even though I can use it every single day this might just be a you can't even it might just be a 30 uses in call it a day kind of a shadow but you can barely see it it's right there but I still think like all of these sh shades are gonna I mean <laughs> let's not even pretend that's not gonna do anything but the yellow I'm really happy to be working on my Nomad palette again because I do really enjoy it and it's perfect for summertime and I think the yellow will go really well with all the other colors although I don't have any well Aside from Ecru, which again is just a setting shade, I don't have any mattes, so maybe this means I'll get a little more use out of some of my other eyeshadows that are mattes that are in other projects. But so that is my update for May. I will be, as usual, putting up the little slideshow at the end of all my looks. Well, not all of them, of some of my looks, and I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're doing well with this project if you are doing it. Even if you're not hitting pan, I mean, getting more use out of eyeshadows is always a good thing. So I hope you're staying safe and sane and healthy, and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.